talking about photography as he likely was okay i'm in class everything's cool i am okay to shadow from color to cure skewer. now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black i didn't fall asleep and i sure didn't feel like a dream weird diane arbus there you go victoria why arbus because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that true? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. See? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. 
You, you don't have beauty. I haven't it. kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Photographic news. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. The 20th century poet. You did. Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early, early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a good... Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expressions. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portrait. You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. The first American. I can't believe I still have this pencil. Case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. In your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. This might make a cool shot. For the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in a I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a lot. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy.
Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Yeah. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and fish about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You all Welcome were... to the real world. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that because it's just looking good. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Yes, this poster must stop always dead in their tracks. Watching the world from the bright side. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Good thing I left my AK at home. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Empty. 
Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have the gift. Fuck it. When the door closes, the window opens. Or something like that. Okay, bro, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I mean... Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the... I better rewind. Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured the human time condition machine. in black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane freak Arvis. out. There Still you the go, same Victoria. stupid picture. Just keep it together, Max. Of hopeless faces. What is going on? Really Nothing has moved. When I took my selfie, right? Jefferson asked me a question. Is tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured art, 
I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? <sighs> I can't can well, Max, since you've kept The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class... Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye and... Excuse me, excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Everybody oh, totally. Chance, I only right? want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Excuse me, excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on, but I can't. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. 
Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that ever thing down. Tell me what to do. I'm so. I need sick. a hammer to break it open. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Hugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Go! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time no, again, no. I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so, so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Don't wander around here. Get on outside.
Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's 